I suppose. Actually, yes. It's a bit more like a spade, doesn't it? In card terms. Uh, so I'll press enter to make that all black. Uh, escape will clear your spline. And then I'll perhaps I'll draw uh, just a little tail off it there. Oops, that's not great, is it? Just a little tail there. No, that's not great at all. This tool can be a bit like that sometimes. You kind of have to experiment. Let's go. Yeah, I think that kind of turns out uh, reasonably well as I want it anyway. So, hey, okay. what the hell. Well, it looks vaguely like I meant to do it in the first place. <laughs> you know I didn't, but don't tell anyone. I won't, so there we go. Uh, so some of this hasn't hidden uh, quite well, so I'll just fill those in. And I'm just about to go over the 10 minutes. Uh, which is mildly annoying, but not the end of the world. I'll just do a little bit more, because it's just a little bit over 10 minutes. is. Uh, very annoying. Okay, so we've got a, a fairly basic uh, kind of dress there. Um, you can see that, you know, as far as texture areas go and uh, your um, seams and such like, it's not been too much of a problem. Uh, you have to be a bit smart about, you know, your bending on uh, the edge of. Um, Materials. That's all down to UVs, basically. Um, but you know, there are the more advanced things you could do to uh, to sort that out. Uh, so I've shown you the spline tool, haven't I? I've shown you uh, some other things. Uh, let's make that look even more like I meant to do it in the first place, and put a uh, bit of text on there. It's still in kind of a pinky colour. Uh, so you can use the text tool here uh, to put text across it. Uh, and we're going to put Ace across the back here. Uh, you can pick your font. Uh, I don't know too much about fonts to be perfectly honest. Uh, but something pretty I suppose would be nice. Uh, that's not very nice. Um, I'm not going to spend too much time trying to find something that looks, uh, you know, particularly different. Oh, that will do. Okay, and when you're ready, you uh, click two points, and it will draw it between the two. Now you see a little closed curve here, which uh, is making it look a bit weird. Um, so there we go. <coughs> Once you've got that drawn, um, you can move it around still. So let's put that slightly across there. I'm going to change the colour a little bit brighter. Okay. And then when you're ready, when you've got it in the position you want, the size you want, press enter and it will commit it to the texture. Press escape to clear it. And there you have it, nice across the back. I realise that this isn't beginning to look a bit rubbish, but never mind. Just trying to show some of the tools we've got. Uh, apart from your brush and your airbrush, you've got some hue tools and dark and light, etc., etc. They're all fairly standard. Uh, this tool, um, I think, is due to uh, bump maps, so I don't generally use it. This one you've got your smudge, collapse and expand. Smudge is self-explanatory. Uh, collapse will try and squeeze the texture wherever you paint, which can be useful in some places. And expand does the opposite. It kind of expands the texture where you paint. Well, I guess around here, maybe, a bit of uh, collapsing might... Oops. A bit of gentle collapsing might make that... Uh, a bit better, it hasn't, so yeah, there you go, that's those. Oh, you'll do clone tool, which is uh, fairly normal. 
uh, we have our um, transform and copy. So you can pick a square, move it up, press enter, escape to clear the tool, and as you can see, it's moved that square. Let's control Z to get rid of it. <coughs> Uh, I haven't really used this to, to be perfectly honest. Um, I haven't really found out how it works, so I can't really tell you too much about that. That's the spline tool that we used uh, a few moments ago, the text tool. Uh, this is the same, except it will put a an image along your spine. It's quite handy. Uh, they've put a slank skin one on here, 